Hi, I just got off the virtual meeting with Ryan Gorman. He's the CEO of Coldwell Banker nationally. And he wanted to discuss the real estate market across the country. And I took notes and I thought it was important to share with you what he said. First and foremost, our home is everything to us right now, especially if we are now working in the house, we're homeschooling in the house, and it has become our world, it's our workout, it's our zen place. So realize that the home is everything and you want your home to be the best it can be at this time. One of the things he started talking about was regarding the CARES Act, regarding the mortgage forbearance. CARES Act allows a homeowner who has been furloughed or if he's been laid off or he just can't afford his mortgage payments to call his lender and apply to get forbearance on his mortgage payments. And they can do that for 90 days. And that would mean that you don't have to pay your mortgage as long as you qualify. But remember, forbearance doesn't mean forgiven. You are still going to have to pay for it. You're going to either pay it in the back end at the end of the mortgage, or th once the forbearance is over, they might tack it onto your monthly payment in little increments. So once the forbearance has been paid off, your payments go back down to what it, they were. And as long as you had excellent credit before COVID-19, it will not affect the credit. And another thing to remember is always ask your lender. He also talked about how has COVID-19 affected real estate and what he says across the country, he's been seeing sales. There are sales happening and the discrepancy of prices were not grand. He was saying that there is no buy or sell with prices. There's no bargain out there that you're going to think you're, you're going to get because it's COVID-19. Homes that are reducing their prices if they're still on the market might have been too high to begin with. The sellers might have been very aggressive with the sales price. But he did say that it depends on areas too. If you are impacted heavily regarding an outbreak in your community, maybe you're not allowed to show homes at the time. I have a client who lives in Detroit who tells me he wants to put his house on the market because he wants to buy a place in La Jolla and he can't even do that because the real estate agents are not deemed essential and they can't even show it. He's 20 minutes away from the Epic Center over there. So we are very fortunate in San Diego, in La Jolla, in California, that we are allowed to still show properties if we have clients who want to, as long as you have your mask, your gloves, your booties, the buyers have signed a COVID-19 entry. It can happen. I've been fortunate. I was able to sell a condo during this time. You just have to be respectful. The most important thing is your health. One thing that's fabulous with Coldwell Banker is that we have technology and our technology has allowed us to do a lot of fun things and we can show property virtually. We can do a virtual open house. So if you decide you're gonna list your property, we can still get it out there to the marketplace. We can do a seamless transaction with DocuSign, with consultations, you name it. We have been set up to be able to do it virtually and we are not skipping a beat. Yes, selling real estate is going to be a little bit different now, but it's not impossible. Another thing to remember is real estate was very strong fundamentally before this. In fact, in February of this year, 2020, Coldwell Banker had the strongest month nationwide than they've had in years. So we had a strong housing market. And the difference between today and 2008, 2008 was a housing crisis. Today, it's a health crisis that created our situation. When you have a health crisis, think of it as a V. It goes down quick and you get out quicker. The reason why housing is still fundamentally strong is we still have lack of inventory. New homes are not being built, especially in San Diego. Because of that, we still have a shortage of inventory. And interest rates, they are still incredibly low. In fact, they're 3.5% right now. Yes, getting a loan and getting approved is much tighter now especially if you want a jumbo loan. And a jumbo loan, remember what I said, it's 
any loan that's over $702,000. And a lot of mortgage brokers are not doing jumbo loans. The big banks still are, but you have to have excellent credit and they also are looking for a FICO score of 700 and maybe even 20% down. JP Morgan just said that if you're gonna apply for a loan with them, they need a 700 FICO score and 20% down for the down payment. The jumbo market, on the other hand, is getting tighter and some of the mortgage brokers aren't doing it anymore. So you need to check your lender or ask a real estate professional or ask me and I can guide you to a mortgage broker or a lender who will do it. And most importantly, they were asked, is it a time to stop buying? And he said, no, if buying was on your calendar and you still can do it, then don't stop. Still look, if you were planning on selling your home, don't stop, put it on the market. With the virtual technology we have, we can get it sold. And he also mentioned the most important thing is to stay healthy. I just want to stress to you that it is okay to take a pause, but it's also okay to go forward. Don't wait. Don't wait to think that the prices are going to drop and you're going to get a bargain and it's going to be a fire sale because it's not. We have a pause in the action, but we are selling property. So it was a very encouraging call. And if you want more information, call me. Otherwise, I look forward to talking to you soon.